guys it's me and kiana and welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title of this video we are finally going to be doing my march tbr in the month of march so far i plan on reading maybe five or six books um so we're just gonna jump right into this video of course the first book i plan on reading i have already pre-ordered it i cannot wait for it to come is chain of gold by cassandra claire this is the first book in the last hours i believe it's a trilogy and this takes place after the infernal device trilogy we are basically following the children of will and tessa charlotte and henry um gideon and sophie and then gabriel and cc and i am absolutely looking forward to this i believe we focus on more jamie and lucy who are the two kids of will and tessa as well as um jem's niece i forgot what her name was she is a car stand she is lucy's parabata i am extremely looking forward to this ever since it was announced that she will be doing it i got really excited because the infernal device um trilogy is my top favorite in the um shadow hunter world and i'm just i'm so excited to be looking forward to this so yes that's the first book i plan on reading the second book I plan on reading is The Last of August by Brittany Cav um, Cavallero. This is the second book in the Sh um, Charlotte Holmes series. So this takes place literally right after the end of the first book. I started um, studying Charlotte. Jamie and Charlotte are now on holiday in England and they are basically... Yep, they're in Sussex after the fall semester that almost got them killed, but nothing about their time off is proving simple, including Holmes and Watson's growing feelings for each other. When Charlotte's beloved uncle Lender goes missing from the Holmes estates after being oddly private about his latest assignment in German art forgery ring, the game is afoot once again and Charlotte throws herself into a search for answers. I absolutely loved the first book when I read it and I plan on reading this one and then buying the next book so then I can continue on. But yes, I'm looking forward to this. Then to continue on with my reread of To All the Boys I Loved Before, I plan on reading P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. This is the second book in the To All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy. It has been years since I have read it and I just wanted to tab it up, reread it, and give my thoughts. Um, as you saw with my wrap up, I did read To All the Boys I Loved Before and very soon I will be doing a book review on it so be on the lookout for that. This takes place right after the ending. It picks up right where we left off on the ending of To All the Boys I Loved Before and I remember not enjoying this as much as I enjoyed the first book but that could change because it's been like four years since I read it. But yes, for those who don't know what this series is, we follow a girl named Laura Jean Covey and she has had five loves in her entire life and to basically get over them she writes them a letter and but never mails it and one day her letters go missing and now all the boys are basically coming up to her when I first read it I enjoyed it I still haven't watched the movies I feel like after I reread this I'll watch the first and the second movie but yes and then the next two books I'm going to read are graphic novels to continue on with me starting the series and that is Giant's Day Volume 3 and Giant's Day Volume 4 by... Who's this by? Let's see... By John... Allison. Okay, yeah. So by John Allison, as you saw with my wrap up, I finished book all volumes one and two. We follow best friends Susan, Esther, and Daisy as they are starting their first um year in university. As they get to know each other, they basically become best friends because they live right next door to each other. I absolutely adored the first and the second volume, and I plan on reading at least every month two of them so I can get caught up. So yes, I'm very, very excited. And then I need to bring this back because there are so many books on my TBR that I just don't read. So we're going to bring back my TBR jar every month. I'm just going to pick one book. And this is the is only books I have not read. Like literally, like basically all of my Owl Crate books, all of the books like behind me that I haven't read. Um, And yes, so we're going to bring this back because... 
your girl needs more books to read, so I'm just gonna grab this one. One spell, so I have space for this. Ooh, okay. So we have Caught on the Hawk by Maggie Stiebotter. Okay, so Con uh, Caught on the Hawk is basically the spin-off to the Raven Cycle series. We follow Rowan and other walker uh basically other dream walkers i bought this and i as soon as it came out and i still haven't read it so i'm kind of happy that this is on my tbr so i'll be reading this so yeah those are the four books and then the two graphic novels i plan on reading i always read the graphic novels fairly fairly quickly it's just always the big books that take a long time but yes, I'll be leaving here two videos on this video you guys should go check out. I try my hardest to post three times a week, and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon with another video. Bye, guys.